Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys versus the New Orleans Saints for this Thursday on Thursday Night Football. Honestly, a really good way for Dallas to get back on track of their winning ways. When you look at the past four games, Dallas has actually dropped three of the past four, so you got to put the level of competition and even the circumstances like referees and honestly COVID and injuries because Saints have had to deal with their injuries and COVID as well, so it's no stranger to both teams and we're going to have to deal with the same things that we had for the Chiefs and the Raiders games because we're not going to have guys like Demarcus Lawrence and Gregory probably not until another week or so but when those guys get back it's going to be very good to get them back for that NFC East tournament like Cowboys blog likes to put it and I think that's a great name for it but when you look at that we need to be going in there with a possible win right here because if we lose it's definitely something to get concerned about because it's nowhere near the level of competition that you're going to have to face going forward. So this should be the game that Dallas should be able to turn it on and really start to run away with it and kind of get that confidence going in before you have to go against teams like Washington and Arizona and stuff. And Washington's playing some pretty good football, but we'll go into that one later. Uh, but as of right now, the New Orleans Saints is what we got to look forward to. And so let's look at some of the key things that we're going to do to go against those Saints. So when you look at these two teams, there's a lot of differences between the two, especially talent-wise. And Dallas honestly should be able to run away with it. But the one comparison that I do have between the two teams, which is the big question, is which teams are going to actually show up. When you look at the Saints, the Saints have been a team that have been dominated all year. And the only time that they've actually been in the game to win it is when other teams' misfortunes and given the ball back to the Saints for them to actually make the game competitive. When they haven't had those opportunities, the Saints have just kind of been blown out of the water. And the Dallas Cowboys have been so dominant before the bye week, but after the bye week, it's just not the same team. This team looks very inconsistent, and they don't know where their leaders are. Even when you got a guy like Dak Prescott that has amazing numbers, a lot of those numbers are trying to catch up in those particular games, and the, the running game is not complementing it. We're trying to run from behind, the defense. So it has to be a complete game in general, and that goes to every single game that you're going into. The Saints aren't anything special, so if Dallas comes out and just blows them away and, and somehow gets away, there shouldn't be talk about how they're back and everything like that. We need to see this actual team put together with Randy Gregory, with Demarcus Lawrence, see our receivers in there, our guys in the backfield, our offensive line not having questions about who's being where, where's going where, and when the music stops, where's everybody sitting in the final spot? So, I mean, nobody cares about that. We just need to go out there and we need to dominate the Saints. We need to show the NFL that we're back and that we aren't just some kind of joke. You know, the, the team that's inconsistent and it's not going to show up every week. So Dallas really needs to show this game and kind of have this be a statement game for them. So when we look at the possible final outcome of this game, I really think Dallas should be able to beat the Saints 32-13, to and it shouldn't be close, but if the Dallas Cowboys don't show up, it will be a game that could be close because the Saints have the ability to make those type games and make great teams look bad when they're playing them. So the Saints can't just be marked off the calendar and just be, all right, we win this automatically. That's not how it works, and that's the reason why we play these NFL games. So if Dallas doesn't come out and just goes three and out, and if they've been practicing a particular play and the scouting team has been allowing it to happen all week, that's where Dallas gets relaxed and just kind of tosses the ball, and then the defense picks it off right on the first drive. It's really bad to watch some of this stuff because you know what this team is very capable of, and they can move it down the field on anybody. But when you see them play and you see them get penalties or you see them get a drop or the ball's just not getting there, you're sitting there going, what is going on with this team? Like, just... All of everybody needs to be on the same page, unfortunately, and for this team to really kind of do their thing and show the NFL that it, it, it is capable of being that team. And I think they were showing that in the beginning and off that uh, bye week, you don't know if they were drinking the Kool-Aid by that point. So what was going on? What can Dallas do? That's going to be the thing. You know what? And I don't think anything that they do in these next couple weeks is really going to prove to you that they are a playoff team. So remember the competition and Washington yeah, Washington has been playing pretty good, so I think they could definitely give us a thing next week. But as of right now, let's focus on the Saints. Let's kick their ass, and let's get this victory. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all your support. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, but don't forget to always ring that bell.